The transpose data feature can take a range of data and flip it. For example, if I have a range of data here that has labels in the columns and I want them to be for now the rows, then after you select the range, go ahead and right click on the range and go down to copy. And then to flip it, you're going to flip it when you paste it. And so to do that, go ahead and select the cell and then the column labels will now be the row labels down below. But when you right click, you get the different paste options. We're looking at this one right here that's called transpose. And you can see the icon has got it on its side, then it's being flipped up to the column or on the column being flipped down to its side. And with me hovering over it, it gives you a preview of it down below. So if you like it, go ahead and click on it. And hey, there we go. Isn't that cool? And vice versa. You can also go ahead and select this, right click on it, and copy it, and then find another cell, right click on it, and then go to the paste transpose option, let it go, and great. Now it works for values, but not really well for functions, if at all. So for example, if I want to take the two labels here with the corresponding functions, as you can see when I select in that cell, it's got that range that it's adding up, or that formula adding up that range. And I go ahead and select it, and I right click to copy it, and I come over here, and I want it to be column labels now instead of row labels. When I right click and I go to transpose and click on it, it's like, what the heck? This number right here should be transposed with that number right there, but when you double click on it, notice how, wow, it jumped way down below here. Ooh, that's just crazy. I mean, you can go ahead and click on the border and say, no, you're supposed to be transposing the data. That is, I'll see, now I have to go ahead and double click on it up here by clicking and dragging. I mean, you could do it that way, but that's annoying. Like I said, it doesn't work well with functions at all. And then there's the correct number. And it works even worse with more complex functions. Well, this one's a simple formula. When you come down here, as far as this goes, when you use the through method, it's not even going to copy over. For example, when I select the range here and right click on that and go to copy, I come down here and right click and select the cell and right click on it to go to transpose. Wow, let's take a look. Double click. Okay, it's jumping down and wow, I really got to go ahead and figure this out how I want it done. So to keep it simple, Unless you want to fight it with the functions, just transpose simple data, no formulas or functions, to either have the labels from the side to the top or from the top to the side. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.